Right guys, we are gonna do question seven and question eight in the same video. They're both two markers. They're both really short and they also link to each other as well. So we're gonna do both of those in one, okay? So I'm gonna quickly go through both of the questions and then I'll reveal both of the answers. So question seven is explain one disadvantage of obtaining quantitative data in this study. Okay, so you need to know your limitations of quantitative data, but of course, there is going to be a mark for applying it as well. So you're getting one mark for identifying a limitation and one mark for applying it to this particular study, which is all about investigating the effectiveness of physiotherapy in the recovery of stroke patients with brain damage. Okay, if you don't apply, you don't get the second mark. Question eight follows on directly from that, and this is just about writing appropriate questions. Okay, so we've got to write one question that's going to produce quantitative data. So that's going to be a fixed choice or a closed question. And then we need to write one question that's going to produce qualitative data, which is going to be an open question. Okay, so let's go back and let's have a look at the answers. So question number seven is right there. So we're going to start off identifying the problem with quantitative data. So numerical data lacks detail. And then I'm going to follow that up with an application sentence. Um, in this case, it's going to be an example, but it's going to be an application nonetheless. So for example, a rating scale isn't going to be able to provide rich insight into the experience of the patient. Okay, obviously a rating scale is only one way in which you can gather quantitative data. So there are other examples that you can give. Um, there's also completely different answers that you can give as well. But the point here is that you're not going to be able to get the same level of detail with numerical data as you will with descriptive data. Okay, so that's question number seven. And then question number eight, here are my two questions. So my quantitative question was, has your patient improved since starting physiotherapy? Yes, no. Bear in mind that it is still the same study as before, and it is the carers that are getting the questionnaire, okay? So your question has to be phrased in such a way that it would be answered by the carers rather than the patients. And then my qualitative question is my open question, which is describe one way in which your patient has improved since starting physiotherapy. Okay, so your qualitative question is going to provide you with your descriptive data. And then your yes, no question is going to give you your quantitative data. Okay, that was questions seven and eight. I hope it's all made sense. And I will see you in question nine.